Welcome back to another episode of Espresso. Today we're joined by the Associate Dean of IT, Paul Darwin, and we're going to be talking about the dark side of data science. Paul, thanks for joining us today. It's a pleasure. Tell me some of the good parts of data science. Well, uh, data science is all about collecting data and using it to find interesting patterns and regularities that give us useful insights. For instance, it can do things like predict if you are likely to suffer from a certain disease. Uh, so it can certainly help people. Yeah, so a great health tool, great employment tool as well. Uh, well, yes. Um, another thing it can do is predict what sort of goods or services you might anticipate needing in the future before you even know you need it. So instead of having ads that are annoying for stuff you don't need, there are ads that are tuned specifically to what you might want. Ever had the feeling that the web page has a greater insight into what you would like than your loved ones <laughs> for a birthday present? Yeah, that's the, uh, the good thing that data mining can do. That is always the way. I'm always just scrolling through Instagram. I was like, didn't I have that thought yesterday? And there's an ad. Now, that's all well and good, but I've heard that there's a few iffy, non-conventional ways to be using data science. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Well, there's ways of being unethical to collect your data in the first place, and then there's unethical things you can do with the data to to maybe enrich yourself at somebody else's expense. Uh, another example was Google's Nightingale project, where they were downloading in real time the medical information of millions and millions of people. Uh, so what diseases they had, their family history, uh, things like that. Now you might think, isn't medical records meant to be private? But in the United States, there was a federal law that allowed hospitals to share private data so long as it was only being used to improve health outcomes. Um, and it turns out that's legal under US law, but it wouldn't be legal here in Australia. So how did they even justify making these health records available and then having Google employees look at it? Oh, I don't think they really attempted to justify it. <laughs> <laughs> they just said, we're doing it. Um, to their credit, they did um, attempt to anonymize it. Um, so the names well, were kept separate so from things. the other information and of things course. like that. Yes. Now, Paul, thank you so much for joining us today and giving us that little bit of feedback, giving us some um, things to look out for in the future, keeping an eye on Australian laws around data science. Um, we do have a little gift for you oh, for joining us today. Fantastic. A nice little JCU lunchbox. This one is all yours. Why, thank you very much. Now, thank you and join us again in a fortnight for another episode of Espresso.